Today I wanted to show you how you can use the hidden state of an object to reveal a normal state at a later event during your course. So today I'm just going to show you a very easy example. Now what I mean when I talk about the hidden state, um, we're just going to toggle to this slide that I have a shape. So I've got a slide object and when you select the states tab, you'll notice you've got your normal state, which is the default. And the default initial state is normal. Now you can choose to have the default state as hidden. And so you'll see that it grays out. And if you start your state as hidden, you need to use triggers to indicate when you want that state to become normal. So we're going to go back to our slide here. And I had previously used this example in a, in a progress meter um, demo. So what I'm going to do is simplify it a little bit. So we have these progresses, uh, percentages. So we've got 0%, 33.3, 66.6, and 100. So what I want is for these um, areas between the percentages to populate with color once the user has selected each lesson. So what you'll see here is we've got our rectangle, which is our progress meet, our, our progress percentage, and then we have another rectangle. Now this rectangle, and you'll see each of, each of them have, uh, between each percentage there's a rectangle that is set to hidden. So when we select state, you'll see that the normal the normal state is this color, this blue, and we have it set to initial state hidden. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to set up several triggers to change the state of lesson one. I, I named each of these rectangles, uh, or actually, sorry, to change the state of, we're gonna change rectangle two to normal when the user clicks lesson one. And then I'm going to duplicate that trigger and change the state of, make sure it's rectangle three, to normal when the user clicks lesson two. And then I'm going to copy and paste that again and change it to rectangle four. Just make sure it's rectangle four. when the user clicks lesson three. So now when we preview this, we should see that as we click each of these lessons, the progress meter populates with color. So let's preview this. All right, so we've got our scene here and I'm going to select lesson one and you see that we've got a visited state that's a check mark and the transparent progress meter has populated with the color that I have dictated as the normal state. So each time we click one of these lessons, the hidden state is changing to normal. And that's how easy you can use the hidden state to reveal a normal state at a later event.